everyone welcome to the channel so in this video I'm gonna show you mastering feature selection tool in RGIS Pro so now let's get started so in the table of content section you can able to visualize we have two different layers one layer represents our places and the second layer which represents our country's boundary layer and now uh, we're gonna navigate to the option called map section here in that we're gonna navigate to this tool called select tool so uh, here you can able to visualize there is a six different way to select the feature classes starting from rectangle polygon lasso circle line and trace so uh, now when selecting features uh, it can be useful to set the content pane to its uh, list by uh, selection view so that is this particular option here a list by selection we're gonna click this option here so uh, here I have selected by our place uh, layer here so now I'm going to use a select by rectangle tool to uh, click on the map and drag out a rectangle over it so now we uh, navigate to this option here in the select tool here in that we're gonna click, uh, click this down arrow and I'm gonna select the first tool called select by rectangle so now we're gonna select uh, this portion of the uh, places here uh, closer to Antarctica let me uh, draw a rectangle over this uh, places here so from here uh, every places that falls within the rectangle uh, I dragged out uh, gets highlighted in uh, a light blue color and from the table of content uh, section here you can uh, able to view that we have a uh, 42 places being selected so now to zoom uh, to the selected places I'm gonna uh, navigate to the places layer here I'm gonna right click in that I'm gonna navigate to this option called selection and we're gonna click this option called zoom to the selection so once we have zoomed into the, our selected features and uh, there is a couple of way to view the attributes of the selected uh, places here so to view that we're gonna right click on our uh, places layer here and we're gonna select uh, attribute table so let me select here attribute table here so this is our attribute table so uh, you can able to view that uh, we have selected 42 places out out of uh, 7342 uh, places and uh, these selected uh, 42 places could be scattered uh, throughout this attribute table but we can focus uh, on them just by clicking on this option called uh, show the selected records so now we can uh, able to view the selected records and also you can scroll across this table you can view the details about this uh, specific table here uh, let me uh, go back to the side and now uh, I will navigate to the places layer once again so I will right click on the place uh, layer again here and this time I'll choose uh, attribute uh, instead of uh, attribute table so we're gonna select this particular option attributes so uh, that opens uh, an attribute pane which uh, looks similar to the pop-ups so now let me expand this here so if I right click on the one station you can see uh, various things that I could uh, do and now let me show you how to uh, how we can open a new uh, pinned pop-up so now I will select uh, a particular station here so I'm gonna select the Davis station so I'm gonna right click this and uh, I'm gonna click this option called open a new pinned pop-up so here you can uh, visualize our Davis station here and uh, I will open uh, another new pin pop-up for another station so uh, so we're gonna select this particular station that is uh, elephant island we're gonna right uh, select this I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna click this option called open a new pinned pop-up so uh, we have two different pop-ups uh, here so this particular uh, pin pop-up uh, can be very helpful to compare the attributes between uh, two or more features so you can uh, compare this between two uh, stations here so both of this uh, places is a scientific station and now let me close this and uh, the another way to open the attribute pane is uh, from uh, on the selection uh, it is uh, from the selection uh, from here so you can able to view here we can uh, click this option to open our attributes pane so you can able to visualize that we close this and now suppose if you want to clear all the selections uh, in the map uh, the easiest way to do is to uh, cl click this option called select clear 
So deselect all currently selected features. I'm gonna uh, click this. So it's deselected all the selected features. So now we can notice from the attribute table there is no feature being selected. So 0 of 7,343 is selected. And now suppose if you want to select uh, uh, multiple uh, places, so you can just hold the control key uh, in your keyboard and you can select uh, the specific uh, uh, places of your choice. For example, I've selected Florida. And again, I'm going to select this particular place, uh, Ariana. So I'm going to select this just by holding your control key in your keyboard and similarly to uh, if you want to unselect this uh, unselect this particular field uh, the florida so we're gonna hold our control key on our keyboard and we're gonna click this field it gets unselected so now we have selected uh, these features using our attribute table suppose if you want to look uh, for them in the map so we're gonna right click this particular field here and we're gonna click this option called pan to so here you can able to visualize our particular selected point here that is Ariana it's selected and highlighted in uh, blue color here you can able to visualize it and now uh, let me clear the selection here and uh, and let me uh, go to the full extent option here I'm gonna click this and now uh, we're gonna select uh, the polygon tool uh, to click on the map and digitize the polygon around so we're gonna click this uh, second selection that is select by polygon let me select this so now we're gonna digitize around some places so now to digitize I'm gonna zoom to this particular uh, country that is uh, Australia so here I'm gonna use a left click uh, at each vertices and then double click to finish the polygon so now let's start digitizing around the Australia here gonna select entire country here and uh, once you selected it I'm gonna double click this let me double click so now all the places in Australia has got selected so from the the content uh, section here you can see uh, there is around 224 places that got selected and compare similarly to in the attribute table you can uh, see around 224 places got selected out of 7343 so now the next tool we're gonna use is our uh, select by lasso so let me select this so now let me go to the full extent here so uh, now we're gonna select uh, the South America here so let me zoom here zoom into that so I start with a left click and uh, the first vertices and uh, hold the click to draw polygon let me do that so you're gonna left click and I'm uh, gonna hold the left click key and I'm gonna draw a polygon around the South America and uh, release the key so now we can able to see uh, we have selected all the places in South America so uh, here you can see our out of uh, we have selected uh, 1074 places uh, you can also see in the attribute table here we have selected 1074 places out of 7343 places and now I'm going to use our uh, select by circle tool here. So now uh, we're going to select our select by circle. So now let me select uh, select by circle. So we're going to select uh, in Africa here. Let me place uh, an. So I have started uh, with a left click where I wa want to. Uh, the center of circle to be so first we're gonna uh, click the center of the study area so and we're gonna drag the circle covering entire study area and we're gonna leave it and now we can able to view where we have selected the, all the places in Africa so uh, we can uh, view that every places that falls within the circle gets highlighted and uh, we can see that there is around uh, 2096 places in the content section here and also in the attribute table so now let me clear the selection here and uh, let me navigate to the select tool here and the last two options for the select tool works uh, best for the polygon layer that is our line and trace so for that I have added my country's boundary layer so let me turn on my country's boundary layer so once I clicked on the tick arrow here the, I couldn't able to see the layer so for that we can navigate to the section here list by drawing order 
In that, we're going to select our layer, the country's boundary layer. And again, we're going to navigate to list by selection. So an important thing to know about the select tool is that they can act on all layers that are both visible and uh, selectable. And now I could like to turn off my uh, places layer. So for that, we're going to navigate to this option here. The rest list by drawing order. And now we're going to turn off the places. And I'm going to navigate to our list by selection. And now to make the country's boundary as a only selectable layer, we have to right click and click this option called make this the only selectable layer. So now uh, next we're going to see the our, uh, tool called the select by line. Let me click this. So now here, uh, I'm going to select uh, using our select by line here. So I'm going to start a line from Canada and uh, to and into America and into Mexico. So to end the line, uh, we're going to double click. So now the Canada, USA and Mexico got selected. So now here in the content section, you can enable to visualize. We have selected three countries. And uh, to view it in an attribute table, we can right click and uh, click this option called attribute table. So let me close this places and uh, you can able to view here. We have three selected out of 255. And now let me uh, clear the selection here. So now I'm going to zoom into our uh, Canada and USA uh, towards uh, North America. So now we're going to select uh, the last uh, select tool that is our select by trace. So let me select this tool here and now let me turn on our label. So right click on the layer of countries boundary. We're going to click this option called label. So now you can view the country's uh, name. So now I'm going to zoom into the, the, the two countries to the meet, the United States and Canada. So here, so we're going to start uh, use, using our select by trace here. Let me right click this. So we can able to view here. Uh, so uh, there is a dotted line appears between the two countries. That is our Canada and, and our USA. So now here, I'm going to navigate to towards the, this part of the areas here. I'm going to zoom in. And now I'm going, to, I'm going to double click to finish the trace here. So now here you can able to visualize that both the countries got selected using our select by trace. So the, the two countries that touched the line uh, I just traced as got selected. So uh, now uh, you have seen all the six different select tools uh, to select the features using our select uh, select tool here so in this video i have shown you uh, mastering a feature selection in rgis pro so thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe to our channel and give us a like